Hello, York Suburban. My name is Mr. Temple, and I'm here to give you an overview of the course Calculus uh, CP. Uh, at, on the screen, this is our Schoology page for Calculus. Schoology page can be um, found via the, the district website, and then you can find the course. Uh, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about expectations, uh, content, and how to access assignments and our uh, our OneNote uh, notebook this year. So uh, getting into our links, uh, here's this, the link for syllabus. If you click on that link, it would bring you to this document and it gives you a little bit of a detail what calculus is gonna cover this year and it's gonna be the differential and integral calculus. Uh, more importantly, I, I wanna spend some time talking about the model in which we're gonna be using in this year, this approach, and it's gonna be uh, the AB model, uh, group A, group B, or class A. Class B, and it's the first half of the alphabet will be group A, and the second half of the alphabet will be group B. Uh, in our chart, I have um, kind of a little of a description of how it's going to run out. Uh, group A, we're going to learn content in class. I will teach and uh, go over material, and on the off days, uh, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, and Saturday, Sunday, these will all be practice type days. They'll, they'll have their assignments. Uh, and they can work on what we learned in class. Uh, if you're in group B, the second half of the alphabet, um, you'll be in class Tuesdays and Fridays, and that's when I will be teaching the content. And Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, you will um, complete assignments uh, or for those uh, lessons. So that's kind of the A-B approach. Our assignments are worth two points and zero for incomplete. I do give partial credit and that's up to the discretion um, whether I give that one or zero. Assessments. Uh, assessments will be, right now, I'm thinking tentatively it's gonna be in class and it's gonna be a lot smaller type assessments than years previously. I wanna be able to uh, just give me some quick performance. You understand it, what you've learned. Um, and there's a couple of problems so I can continue to teach. But so I, I wanna be able to get, be able to give feedback to the students um, on how they're acquisitioning the, uh, the material. Um, may or may not be outside of class. Uh, it may be once in a while, but the majority right now I see assessments being in class. Um, we do have weighted grades. Your assessments will be 70% of those grades and 30% will be the assignments. This course has a midterm and a final. Uh, let me go back to our one note, or sorry, excuse me, our Schoology. Um, I will, let's go into our weekly agenda. The weekly agenda, if you click on this, it will bring you to this, uh, my Google Calendar. And the Google Calendar, it looks a little messy right now, but I do separate, I have separated with class A or Calc A and a Calc B, so hence group A, group B. Uh, so Monday, when uh, students arrive and they come in, we'll learn this lesson right here. And their assignment is this one-one uh, assignment with these problems. Uh, that same assignment is also posted for Tuesday and it will be due, it says uh, due, and that is uh, Wednesday um, before class on Thursday. So this is kind of a lesson on Monday and the assignment extends to Wednesday. I do have another assignment in Wednesday, and that's a lesson check. Um, that was an email will be sent out uh, where to find the lesson check. It is, it is in OneNote, but that would be the, uh, the Wednesday Cyber Day as well as finishing up the assignment for coursework. Um, come Thursday, uh, I need to finish this lesson. So this lesson uh, is gonna take two periods or, or two class time. So we will finish it. Um, and then they will have their second part, part two assignment, and that will be due before uh, Monday's class. So if you're in part B, if you're in group B, uh, you will, will learn that content on Tuesday, and the assignment is giving given Tuesday, and that extends to the due date of right here, uh, Thursday. They have their lesson check as well on Wednesday, and then on Friday, we'll be finishing up this uh, section uh, one one. So that's kind, of, that's kind of a model that I'm, I'm following at this point. And uh, you can click ahead to the following week. I do have that planned out. Um, so that's, that's my weekly agenda. 
if I go back to the Schoology page, uh, here is the, the Schoology calendar. Um, I'll be honest with you, I, I probably pay more attention to the Google calendar. Uh, I do update Schoology calendar when I'm reminded to. So I gotta, gotta do a little better job of that. But if, uh, for example, here's class A, I have a due date uh, for Thursday and I'll click on it and it's gonna say the exact same thing with the Google Calendar has said, and, and there it is. So um, that that's the school uh, Schoology Calendar, <clears throat> and uh, it's very convenient for the person who uses Schoology. It's right there. But uh, the weekly agenda, you can see the whole week, and you can actually add that calendar to your personal calendar. Okay, I want to jump into the OneNote. If you click on this, uh, Schoology will. Uh, Schoology will not open OneNote, uh, so you're going to get this page, and here's the little icon button that kind of pushes you out onto a, a different tab or a, a browser, and, and this is, if you do that, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see our course OneNote. Uh, it will open up to the, this page. It's a welcome page, and I'm going to talk about this, and then I'll get into the notes, but this welcome page, um, a lot of the links are there, the Schoology link, the syllabus, the, the Google Calendar is right there. And some of the resources, uh, Google Classroom, Delta Math, there's a GoFormative, and here's Zoom. Um, Zoom is for uh, if you guys, if you want to meet um, via Zoom, we can exchange some emails, get a time set up. If that's something that you would like to do, we can certainly do that, as well as the students too. So. Um, What's nice about OneNote is I want to jump into our notes. This is a uh, chapter one. And again, you have access to this. Uh, this right here, uh, class A 1.1 lines. This is what we did in class um, on Monday. And it's a little slow right now. I'm not, not sure there's a lot going on in this machine right now, but it's a little slow. But here are all the notes that uh, we, we, we covered. Um, and yeah, it's all kind of there. It's all appearing here. So here's no. So if you if your student missed a uh, missed a class, uh, they can always go back and, and there it is for them. Uh, and there's class B. They that that note, those notes are there, and uh, it'll probably take a little while to load up as well. But everything is there, whether you're class A or class B or group A, group B. Um, here's the assignment. And now just class B is loading up and trying to get the assignment to load up. Um, just like the Google Calendar said, here's the, uh, the assignment listed out and uh, all the problems are listed. And that's again, this is what you can see. You can see all of this um, information in the assignment. So it's all posted via the uh, OneNote. Now, let me show you what I can see. Now, what's new this year is OneNote has classroom set up, and that means that all the students have their own notebook now. So <clears throat> here's, uh, what I, here's my view, and here's all the students taking calc uh, with me this year, and they have everything that I have. So I'm just gonna click on uh, one student here, and, and um, well, here's, here's uh, this student's uh, notebook. Um, and they have access to their notebook. They don't see other students. This is their notebook. And this is this person taking notes or the scaffolding type notes. They just kind of follow what I did in class and that's how they did it. Uh, here's an, the assignment. I think this student started the assignment. And again, it's, it's a little, it's tough writing on a screen if you don't have a stylus or if you're just using your mouse. Um, but you can see down here, they, they, they started just, in, maybe they did it in pencil and paper, and then they just started putting the answers in there. And that's another option too, is uh, if, if you'd rather just do things on pen, pencil and paper, and then uh, take a picture of your work and insert it, that's also something that uh, can be done. Um, so OneNote is a very powerful tool that uh, I'm going to be using. Um, and I hope the students kind of find some benefits to it as well. Uh, going back to our Schoology page, uh, textbooks, um, if you want a textbook, if your student wants a textbook, we can absolutely do that. They just need to see me, and then I think our, our, our well, I know our district would like the textbook to stay at home, um, so keep it at home, and then at the end of the year, we'll bring the textbook back. 
Um, but everything's posted online. And um, but as far as textbooks, just let, let me know. That's pretty much it that I have. If you do have questions, email me. If we want to Zoom, we can do that. But uh, uh, thank you and uh, hope to see you soon.